ask Tom on home show. Craig from St. Charles, Michigan has a question about a barn build out. Yeah, it's a 42 by 60 pole barn, Tom. By the way, what is a what's the difference between a barn and a pole barn? Are all barns a pole? A barn, barn? can be well, I, and and we we address this a lot. A pole barn all that means is the poles are the structure that connects it to the ground. Okay. So you have a big span in between. I tell you, if you go to Mueller Steel Building and they do the red iron, uh, that's kind of like a pole too, where the red iron comes down. Then you just have the between them. You just have the metal panels that make okay. the wall up. A regular barn would mean the walls would be holding up the roof, and there's no poles inside. So it's more of like a house structure. Okay, so now we know what kind of barn we're talking about. Yes. <laughs> and Craig asks, my pole barn has a crushed asphalt floor, and I want to build interior room in it, but I'm not sure how to anchor the walls to the floor. What's your advice on getting that done, Tom? First off, I don't know what he wants to do in the room, so I assume the asphalt's going to be the floor, and he's maybe using it for storage or something of that nature. Uh, I would tell him this, because we just did the explanation about the structure and how it's held to the ground. So structurally, it's all set and done. It's ready to go. All you're doing is putting a screen up so to speak as far as the walls go so i wouldn't attach them to the floor at all i would attach them to the structure whether it's the uh the roof system above and down the walls to the side if it's making a corner just build the box just like you would a house with the studs and stuff you will have a sill plate that will sit down on the ground you use pressure treated lumber and if you wanted to just adhere it to the bottom i would use construction adhesive on the bottom of the sill plate and just set the wall when you set it up, just set it down on the asphalt, attach it to the poles, attach it to the uh, roof structure. And now you just have a uh, what we call a breakaway wall that's not attached to a foundation because quite frankly, you don't have a foundation on this. The poles go into the ground. That's part of the foundation that holds the structure up. Keep it simple. Don't overthink it. Okay, so I hear what you're saying there. And, we, and you said he may have the asphalt as the floor. What if he's thinking he wants to put like like a wood floor or carpet these rooms or something on the inside? That Would that change your approach in building it? It wouldn't change my approach at all. I just want to make sure that when you say asphalt, you think of like a driveway. Does the water get in there when it rains? If it's high enough, it's built up high and no water gets in, then you could go over the top of it with any finished floor you wanted to. But it, it seems to me that it probably uh, is going to... Uh, be more of a storage room if you were going to make it a finished room and it's really low to the ground and you could get some water intrusion up at the bottom of the walls because drainage around any building is important to take care of then you might want to pour a concrete pad and if you do that you can put some anchor bolts down in it and just bolt the walls down to it but it sounds to me like he's talking more of a storage area than he is or maybe just a little office thing that's not that all finished out uh, so if that's the case, don't worry about attaching to the floor, attached to the structure. Whether you're attaching to your house or your barn or your garage or anywhere else, and you want some help, yes. go to homeshoreradio.com, click on the Ask Tom button, and that'll bring you here, and you can send us a video of what you're working on or pictures. Um, just go ahead and fill out this form, attach what you're going to attach, and send it to us, and we will answer it. We answer a new one every day, and we post a video because Tom likes to help, and we like to help him help you. Uh, and we do that on our Facebook page and the Home Show Radio YouTube channel and, of course, at homeshowradio.com.